All right, Mr. Swain, you're up. Let me Ready? see your moves. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Listen, no, I embarrassed myself enough on TV. I will not be dancing. The uh, best I can do is a forecast. All right. That'll work. All right. Give uh, us um, some, uh, I can't even think of anything. Um, I wish we had a break from the heat and humidity, I'll tell you okay, that. All right. Uh, but not Shake much that anymore. up for us. There you go. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, a rain dance? There you go. Oh, oh I can no. Do a rain no, we don't want a rain dance. Listen, I want the forecast to be right. Uh, and there are going to be showers and storms back tomorrow. Hey, let me take a live look from Dundalk. The uh, sky's quiet tonight. There's a few clouds sticking around, but otherwise, things are pretty quiet. And uh, that'll be the case through the overnight hours. All the storms and showers we had today need that moist, that uh, heat source, in the form of uh, the sun in the afternoon. Fuel them, and uh, as soon as that goes away, we quiet down overnight. Future cast, we're looking ahead. Uh, Wednesday night at 11 p.m. Right now, we'll start and then go into Thursday morning. 6 a.m., sky's clear for most. It's a dry start to the day, and you walk out the door, it won't be any rain. But keep that umbrella nearby. You'll likely need it at some point, because as we add that heat back into the mix, we'll already start to see our first signs of thunder showers pop up right around noon. It's very reminiscent of today. This pattern is stubborn. It'll be with us through the weekend. These scattered storms in place, uh, and they are pretty widely scattered. I know this looks very active at first glance, but try to think of it uh, like just individual storms popping up, dropping a bunch of rain, some gusty winds, staying below severe limits, but uh, big impacts where they do develop. They can't last long, though. These storms build up, and they sort of work themselves too big. That cold air that comes out of the storm collapses it, and they fall apart into the evening hours. We lose the heating of the day, and uh, poof, there they go. Pop up thunder showers are back on Friday. The difference here is things look a little more organized in the form of a weak wave of energy. You're going to see these thunder showers almost line up a bit by the afternoon and into the evening. Uh, we could see that linger a little bit longer just because it's driven by a different force. So, bottom line, Friday evening, I'd bank on a little more activity than what we saw today, what we'll see tomorrow, and part of that carrying over into the weekend. There's Friday evening. You still see that line of thunder showers, almost where the winds start to meet, the red arrows and the blue arrows, a sign that it's driven by a different force here. So, we get to Saturday morning starting off dry again, but scattered storms are back in the afternoon. Part of that continues into the evening and really over the next couple of days. This active pattern not going anywhere. In fact, some of our biggest shifts are from temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s back to the mid 80s by the weekend. Still warm, no doubt about that. We're not getting rid of the humidity anytime soon. Uh, readings back in the mid 80s Monday, scattered thunder showers there. Another round Tuesday, looking like some consistent dry time into Wednesday under partly cloudy skies. We'll slowly work back in some heat. 88 on Tuesday and 90 on Wednesday. Kelly.